I wear a beanie just to protect the hair. <laughs> Last October, I spoke to Stephanie Gonzalez as she was going through an experimental treatment using this very helmet. Six hours a day. As soon as I wake up, I just do the helmet and it motivates me to keep going. Not long ago, she was diagnosed with diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, or DIPG. It's an aggressive and malignant tumor located in the middle of the brainstem, which is normally found in children. These tumors are like an octopus. They have a head and they have tentacles that extend long distances into the brain. But this astonishing research with the Oncomagnetic Helmet conducted by Drs. Baskin, Helicar, and his team here at Houston Methodist is showing dramatic promise. Is it possible that magnetic waves could kill cancerous cells? When do you put the helmet on? At night? Um, I do it. I wake up at 3 in the morning. I do 2-3 hours and then I do a lunchtime for an hour. So for the last half year, Stephanie has been placing her hope on the helmet and her faith in her doctors. She was given specific instruction, wear the helmet six hours a day, every day. There was moments where I was getting frustrated um, because there was other things that I'd rather do versus sitting at home with a helmet or going outside and having a big device. Still, she pressed on. And now, for the first time, I got to see her results for myself since her last interview. So, here we are. September 7th, 2022, you can see this pretty nasty tumor. And over months, we saw this thing get smaller and smaller and smaller. Here we are February 1st. Uh, just a few weeks ago and really can't see much of anything at all. A stunning miracle and the results are obvious. I mean, I'm sure you're just as ecstatic to see these results. Yeah, I mean, I didn't believe it. <laughs> well, it's an emotional moment for me to think that, wow, do we really have something this good? Of course, it's only one patient and, you know, maybe it's not going to work in every patient. But the fact that it worked in any patient is absolutely remarkable. Stephanie is the first person in the world with her type of tumor to try this therapy under the FDA's program Expanded Access, which allows approved compassionate use for patients that are at the end stage of cancer and have no other options. It's just a mix of emotions. <laughs> just excited and just made me excited. <laughs> no, I just want to say thank you because they never give up, um, even though a lot of the results were negative, they never gave up. And I think that's a really hopeful thing.